What if I told you there was a football video game? What if this game had the rights to the National Football League and the rights to the players? What if this meant you got realistic statistics on each individual player based on their skill set? What if the gameplay from these players reflected their statistics? What if that kind of gameplay included zones that work based on the statistics of their zone defense and stuff like that? And other crucial gameplay like pass rush, blocking, throwing, catching, route running, and basically anything that had stats on the players actually mattered. What if there was also game modes like regs where you play with actual NFL teams and their actual players? What if there was another game mode where you can take actual NFL players from past, present, and even sometimes in the future and make your own team? Almost kind of like an ultimate team. Stop it. Get some help. And what if there's a game mode, I don't know, called like the yard, where it's like backyard football. You can make your own player and play with your buddies like a, I don't know, like a 4v4, 7v7, something like that. What if all of that in one game actually worked? Sounds good, right? Well, that's what Madden is supposed to be. Now, what if I told you the game only really focused on one part of it being that ultimate team? What if I told you the only real way to play and compete in that game mode is to pay more actual money. What if I told you key aspects of gameplay like the zones and the pass rush and the blocking and all that don't really work? What if I told you you can play the most perfect defense in the world and your opponent throws the ball directly to your defenders, you catch it, but it just drops for no reason? What if I told you the gameplay really is animation based and kind of random and skill doesn't really matter? Well, I'd tell you you're playing Madden 22. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Mebs, and if you know me and you know my content, I love Madden. I'm, I'm a huge football fan, and I've played Madden since I want to say 06. Actually, the reason I'm an Eagles fan is because when I was a kid, my buddy Jordan said, hey man, pick a team so we can play together. And I said, wow, that Eagles team looks cool. Let me play with them. Guys, that was in second grade. I graduated college. In fact, the entire reason I started making content and was pushed to stream, little plug, make YouTube videos, TikTok, and make content in general was because my dream was to be a Madden creator. That started back in 2020 where I streamed Madden 20. And it wasn't a perfect game by any means. The meta was sending your entire team on defense and running stretch every play with Eric Dickerson. How did I not stop that? But even in Madden 22, it mattered if you were good or not. And honestly, I really enjoyed the game. And then Madden 21 dropped. And it was... It was okay. I, I still remember running strong close and trips tied in. And my, my content got better. My community grew when I was having, I was having a lot of fun. But the meta of send two to three people and get insta-sheds, really, it wasn't it for me. I, I, got, I got frustrated and, and bored. Seeing the same 3-3-5 wide defense for six months is boring. It's boring. Now, that's fine if you want to do that, but let me... But I was fine with it. I, I felt like the game was okay, and I, I had some fun in it. And we had some good stream moments. But I said when Madden 22 came out, I was uh, not going to be as patient. And they, they dropped the not finished game. Uh, the zones didn't work. Still don't. You could not catch a pick when you can actually get your defense where you want it to be. Somehow, some way. You have random animations where you guys just don't catch the ball. Just not because of your stats or the players you have, but just guys. And I say all this not to put down EA, but to say that I'm just done. Now, do not get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm done with Madden forever, but I'm done with 22. I'm really hoping that in future Maddens that one, stats matter. Two, the company that makes it isn't so money hungry and actually focuses on the game and not their profits. And third, I want a game where it means something to be good at. I, I want a game where I put time, effort, money into the... And I put all this time into putting a scheme on offense and defense together. I, I use all this money and effort and time and do solo challenges and all this crap to make the perfect team and put their abilities and get strategy cards just, just to compete. I don't want to randomly get animated where 
what I'm doing, I can't control the game. And maybe it's just me. I, I hope to all the Madden fans out there and the Madden lovers that they're having the best time and they're, they're loving this Madden. But for me, there's just way too many games out there that have so much potential for great content. So if you were in stream yesterday, you know that I announced that I am officially a variety streamer. Again, this does not mean I'm, I will never play a Madden again. This just means for now, this year, I'm done playing 22 because it's just, it's not a good game. And there are too many good games out there to play a game that's not finished. So I'm not going to say all of that and not tell you how I think they could fix Madden. So let's talk about that. First of all, the MCS should not be Ultimate Team. I think it just makes the game better and more interesting when it's regs or salary cap. Even draft champions. Make draft champions good again. I'll come back if you make draft champions good. I promise. Even the yard. The yard has so much potential. But just another, just, it's not ultimate team. We can't make a lot of money on it. So let's not really care about it. And that sucks. Everyone knows the big thing in Madden is ultimate team. And I love ultimate team. Always have. And I always will, even when I'm not playing it. I love the aspect of taking, like I said in the intro, cards from past, present, and even like, the rookies uh, for the future. I love that aspect. You can make your own team. I love that. You have theme teams and and you can uh, pick different playbooks and make schemes. It's amazing. But I can't do that anymore and have a game that doesn't work in the gameplay. I also think you should make solo challenges a little bit more, maybe challenging, but you should give better rewards. And I am by no means a no money spent player. But if I was able to, in my opinion, truly compete with the best of the best by being a no money spent, spent, I can talk, I would. I also believe if you take strategy cards out of the game, do not bring back physical chems. Make fast players fast players. Make strong players strong players and vice versa. I think that a card's stats should matter. That leads me into my next point. I think statistics don't really matter anymore in the game. Maybe speed, and everyone knows speed is king in Madden, but I think... Your route running should matter more. I think your change of direction should matter more. I think actual statistics should matter. And I think if EA fixes all of this, and I don't think it's hard fixes. You've had it in the past, but if if the gameplay works, if the stats matter, and maybe even taking out take out power ups, but I'm actually I'm actually okay with them in the game. I think it's interesting, and I can make a whole video on how to fix Madden. I trust me, I have thought long and hard about this. If you can't tell, but I say all that to say this. If EA would fix all that and the gameplay would work and everything else I've talked about would happen, you'd have one of the most profitable games of all time. It would be, it would be one of the best games ever and probably would, wouldn't be failing on Twitch. And don't get me wrong, I'm not happy about this at all. I love Madden. If you know me at all, you know how much I love Madden. But the, look at the viewership on Twitch. Look at, just, just watch people play it. It's just not fun. EA, you're not going to see this. But if somehow, some way you do, if you make this game, not everyone, but most people in the Madden community will be happy. And yeah, we'll still harp on you and we'll still be Twitter for the most part, but we'll play the game. We want you to succeed so we can succeed. And don't get me wrong, I'm not leaving the Madden community and I probably never will because I love football and I still love this game. But right now I just can't play it. So will I ever come back to Madden? Uh, not 22, probably not 22. And I'm gonna see how 23 is. Um, if they do have John Madden on the cover, I'll at least buy it out of respect because an absolute legend was gone way too soon. And he had such an impact on everybody, not just the Madden community, but not even just the football community, but sports in general. And that's amazing. Do that, EA. Make that right. Make John Madden on the cover, please. So, guys, I hope this video wasn't too negative. I just wanted, I just wanted to get my point across, and and hopefully this this can make a little bit of change, and hopefully we get the best Madden to date next year. And if that happens, I can't wait, and I can't wait to play it every single day. But until that happens, I have to play good video games if I'm gonna make content. And as always, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, leave a like, subscribe so you don't miss anything else. It helps me out a ton. And comment what your thoughts on Madden 22 are right now. Are you having fun? Let me know why. And if you're not, let everyone else know why. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.